please help me welcome to the stage, Mr. Bob Cattell. Are you enjoying your Get Motivated experience so far here today? Wasn't Lou Holtz just awesome? And you know what's really interesting? When the student is ready, the teacher appears. You know, that kind of reminds me of my first standing ovation. When I was 19 years old, 72,000 people jumped to their feet and gave my performance a standing ovation. It was at Arizona State University, the big football stadium. Yep, they cheered for me because I was on the other football team and I just missed a field goal. Oh, they were happy with me. I wasn't happy. It was on television. I think every human being I knew on the planet saw me miss that field goal. I thought that was the lowest point of my entire life. I was wrong. Four minutes later, I got my second standing ovation when I missed my second field goal. How many of you could use a better memory? How many of you can't remember if you could use a better memory? <laughs> Everyone look to the person on your left. It's that way if you forgot. Now look to the person on your right. One in three of you will be diagnosed senile by the time you turn 70 years old because of apparent memory loss. Some of you are going, well, yeah, it's going to be one of them. Some of you are going, it's me and I think it's already started. Isn't it crazy? We get older and we forget where we put our keys, where we parked our car, and then this is the classic. You're sitting there. You're watching television. A thought occurs to you. You jump up out of your chair. You dash into the other room and you stop. And you're thinking to yourself, why am I here? Have, have you ever wondered why you got to go all the way back to your chair and sit down to remember why you got up? What's that all about? I have a $20 bill I'm going to sell for $10. Be careful. 10, 9, 8, I got to see the money. 7, 6, 5. There you go. You're starting to catch on, I can tell. I know what the rest of you are doing. You're holding out. Here's a hundred dollar bill, but I'm not stupid. But isn't that what life's all about? What separates successful from unsuccessful people in our country? The successful took action. They did something. They made things happen. Uh, for, for this group right here, I'm looking for somebody who could use some cheering up. Who, who's somebody who could really honestly use some cheering up? Maybe you've had a, a hard week and it's been tough. Uh, who could really, you could really use some cheering up? Your friend thinks so. Could you come up here real quick? Come on up here very quickly, okay? Don't be nervous. There's just 20,000 people staring at you right now. Nothing to be nervous about. What's your name? Carol. Carol. Come on up, Carol. I bet you didn't think this was going to happen today. Carol, my name's Bob, B-O-B. -B. You can spell it forward or backwards the same way. Come on up here, Carol. Folks, would you like to help me cheer Carol up? Okay, then here's what we're going to do. On the count of three, let's give Carol a standing ovation. No, not just a normal ovation, a standing ovation. An ovation meant to cheer her up, to knock her socks off. An ovation where people outside are going, who's the famous rock star on that stage? Atlanta, are you ready? One, two, three, let's go! But I've got one more thing to cheer her up. I think I need to contribute. Remember that $100 bill? I'm going to give that to you. For Carol. <laughs> there you go. That's yours. I just lost my job in September. Oh, she's feeling a little bit better. <laughs> but not only is Carol feeling better, who else is feeling better? Isn't that amazing? That's the miracle. You can't give kindness away. It's always returned. If you're ever feeling down or depressed or lonely, go do something for someone. Now, some of you will immediately go, oh yeah, but that's her. I could never do that. Sometimes the biggest negative person you have to overcome is who? Ladies and gentlemen, when I was in high school, my father worked in a steel plant. At the end of my junior year of high school, my father invited me to go to work with him one day. You know the first thing I learned? They don't air condition steel plants in the middle of summertime. It was miserable in there. But I'll never forget what he said to me that day. He said, son, if you can't get into college next year, I might be able to pull some strings and get you a job working with me here at the factory. That will rank as the single most motivational moment of my entire life. 
So what would you like from me here today? Would you like me to sh just, just teach you some things or would you like me to motivate? In fact, could I have your permission to kick you in the butt and motivate you a little bit here today? Could I have your permission to do that? Who really moves the market? Do you think you do? When you go out and buy 5,000 shares of stock, do you think you move the market? I had one guy go, uh-huh. I said, what? He goes, yeah, every time I buy stock, it goes down. I must move the market. And the fourth reason I'm here is I need the rest. I have a lot of kids. They have a lot of friends. And when I'm home, I need the rest. I, and folks, I have become the adopted recreation director for my children and all their friends. Their friends call me. Mr. Cattell, can you take us to go play basketball? Well, the boys are busy. Doesn't matter. You can come. You can play. We know you don't work. Can you, can you take us boating? Can you take us snow skiing? And I'm an idiot. I go do the stuff with them. I'm not going to sit on the side. I need the rest. And now we're into track and field. Track and field. Do you know what pole vaulting is? It's... Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce I am the United States Northwest Masters Champion in the pole vault in my age group. Thank you. Thank you. So kind of you. Thank you. Of course, the reason is I'm the only one who showed up in my age group. <laughs> Folks, are the big boys jumping in? Are they jumping in? No, no. They're sneaking in. They're sneaking in. They don't want anyone to see. They're s sneaking in. Give me 5,000 shares. Me too, I'll take. Can we see them sneaking in? Is that a go or no go? So what would you do with your money? Well, here's some suggestions. Maybe you'd get one of these. Or maybe you get one of these. Or maybe you've been wanting to mow your lawn with one of these. <laughs> How many of you think they need to make this a mandatory course for your kids right now? Who thinks that's a great idea? They don't teach you this stuff in high school. And folks, how many of you would love to see these tools and the class absolutely free? By a show of hands, who'd like to see it for free? Let me see. Let me see. I can see you up there too. Okay, well, that ain't going to happen. How many of you procrastinate? Let me see your hands. How many of you are waiting till later to raise your hands? Have you enjoyed your Get Motivated experience so far today? It is going to get better and better and better. And at the end of the day, you're going to be like John Wooden, the great basketball coach at UCLA, when he said these words, I'm not what I should be. I'm not what I could be. I'm not what I'm going to be. But I thank God I'm not what I used to be. Be the student. Find your teacher. Make it happen. Jacksonville, Florida, it's been my honor. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, everyone together, in a loud, clear voice, what did you all tie to your head? Bonnet. The bonnet's also on a? Yeah. The giraffe is in a? Oh. And it got hit by a? Steamroller. The steamroller became a? Oh. The boat is covered with? Yeah. One of the snakes is a? Yeah. The professor's in some? Yeah. What landed in your soup? Yeah. But the airplane is a? Yeah. Give yourself a round of applause. You're doing really good so far. And you know what? That was the first memory exercise I ever learned, and I was amazed. And by the way, I was ticked. I was thinking, why didn't somebody teach me how to do this earlier? You see, when my GPA went from 3.0 to 3.8, and I cut my memorization time in half, I was going, why don't they teach every single child in every single school district these skills? Can you always depend on the schools to teach your kids the best things? So I started doing assemblies for elementary schools for free. I did assemblies for high schools for free. I trained 3,000 college students at the university I was attending how to have a better memory for free. Here's how you will remember. Everybody take your hands like this. Go ahead, take your hands like this. Folks, this isn't television. I can see you, OK? <laughs> take your hands like this. OK, everybody tie a little bonnet to your head. Go ahead, just tie a little bonnet. I see somebody helping their friend with theirs. What's that all about? <laughs> Some of the to sit on the other side. This is what the guys say. Oh, well, thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. It's just learning how to write. Period. My name is Bob. I ride over there. I'm guessing. Everybody's trying to get in there, get their good parking spots. Hey, George. Yeah. Nothing. I'm just filming you. Hi, Del. Hey, how's it going? Great. Here, here we are, get motivated. State your name and number. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we need to set up and go out. This is you didn't say Mr. Seth. Walsh from the Memphis Missile Land. He said, we need to go out and find these creeps. And he kept his word. A week ago, $20 million.
the next gentleman I'm about to introduce to you has spoken to tens of thousands of people in over 150 cities, both nationally and internationally, on the power of education and finance. He has also spoken at over 100 major universities around the United States and has done training for CNBC University and Business Week. He's an award-winning speaker and trainer, and he's going to help you today to soar to new levels in your investing success. Please help me welcome to the stage, Mr. Bob. 